What is Zim? Well, let's take a look at the Zim site. Zim at zimjs.com. Uh, here, even the uh, logo right here is interactive. We can drag this thing about and make art if we hit the play button. We can create interactive media pizzazz with the Zim JavaScript framework for HTML Canvas powered by CreateJS. So Zim is written in JavaScript. It's a framework, which means it gives you all of the things that you need so that you can concentrate on what's unique for whatever you're making your application. And it runs on HTML, specifically on the Canvas, supported by all modern browsers and mobile apps, powered by CreateJS, uh, which is a wonderful library that has been downloaded billions of times. And Zim itself has been uh, around for about three or four years and worked on by hundreds of people. Uh, we're on version 4.3 and it's open source. Now it is a library of code and so perhaps a quick view into the docs would be good. Docs are all what's in that library. So we can do things like drag, and there are hit tests, different types of hit tests. We can move and animate. And if we open up one of these things, animate, it tells you all about it and gives you an example of creating a circle and then scaling it to zero. And then we animate the circle so that its alpha comes up to one. We set it to zero and its scale goes to one. So that's animating the circle in, in 700 milliseconds. And so this is the code that would do that animation, or indeed we can just say circle.animate and so forth. If we scroll down, we can then view the code that is the Zim code. So this is JavaScript code that looks like this. And this is JavaScript just like you'll be using, except it was created by inventor Dan Zen, Canadian New Media Awards programmer and educator of the year. Oh, that might be me. <laughs> and so here uh, is the example of animating. Now, you don't have to worry about this. Yours is, is pretty easy. You just say circle.animate, and off you go. And that's what that code looks like in behind there. Returning to the site, powerful, elegant code. We make a circle, and we center it and drag it. Doom! That explosion was made with Zim. And there are different components, etc. So you can read more about that. Various features, one line drag and drop, multiple types of hit tests, buttons, panes, windows, wrappable text, shapes, sliders, steppers, waders, color pickers, indicators, dials, pads. Those are components that you can use. Easy asset loading and a complete template framework can scale, mobile optimization, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right into complex things like parallax. We can use it to make mobile apps, e-learning applications, games and puzzles, collages, generative art, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, and there's lots of examples as well that you can take a look at. Zim is dedicated to simplicity and consistency. So once you learn how to do something, the rest of the things work in a very, very similar way. Here are some of the old sites, Zim Try, and look how colorful these are. Zim is for designers and artists and graffiti artists. It's an exciting language. I mean, it's for coders too, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's like the Ikea of code. Very elegant and simple. Here are a bunch of Zim bits, 64 Zim bits of things that you can do with Zim. And this makes up the tutorial examples that are on the Zim Learn site as well. Whee! Here are the sultans of Zim who are working on Zim and the various friends. And Zim has been used in all these countries. Oh, it's very nice. Even in Luxembourg. Maybe it was a prince or a princess who used Zim in Luxembourg. And it was made in Canada 
in Hamilton. So that's a quick overview of Zim at zimjs.com. Of course, come to the site and to the Learn section to learn more. Have a great day.